hands on you. I've seen you nicky stuff before. I'm calling the police. <laughs> no, sorry, away, my darlings. I've only just cleared up the last lot of muddy traipsed in. Why can't you nick Atari games like normal teenagers? Leave them outside. Oh, come on, Glory, they'll get nicked. Get that blinking jungle out of my calf. All right, but I'm holding on to a bleeding arse. Mr. Cuss particular about what in them. I don't give a flying ass about some old codger. Get them out. All oh, right. I'm shag, let's sit down. Are you? Two teas, please, Glory. I'll bring them to the table, love. Hi, right, Glory. You're fond of old Mr. Clough, aren't you? He's always looked out for me since I were a nipper. I think it's because I didn't have a dad and that. We were a smart scout leader. Aye, he kept you lot of hooligans under control. Get away with you. It's funny that, because he didn't have any kids of his own. Bless his old bones. He's dead chuffed I've started taking Martin round. Seems to proper perk him up. He's carrying around. You can keep your wandering eyes off. And your teenage boy hormones packed in them trousers, pet. She's going to marry royalties, our Karen. She's got work experience in a nursery, just like Lady Di. We just nick stuff from nurseries. I'm here for kids, not plants, you plonker. You know, Ripper used to eat here. Rumour has it, he were pulled up in here. Could have sat at this very table. Oh? Does that mean that Gloria knows him? Glory? Did you know the Ripper? He's upstairs, pet. Waiting to collect what's due on them, what don't pay for their teas. How do you get your grubby hands around so many of them plant pots anyhow? Don't seem possible. Got double jointed fingers, look, see? They're a bit weird and twisted, don't you reckon? Means I can grab more than an handful. <laughs> get off! But I've got the same. What? You used to call me the finger freak at junior school. It's weird, that. You're a freak and all. <laughs> Oi, finger freaks. You owe me 50p for them teas. That garden centre man's wife. Did you see her? Did you see her? Did you see her? Face like, like a, a trout. trout. <laughs> She's a beach whale. Sperm whale. Blubber. Scrubber. Elephant seal. <laughs> the male gently nuzzles. <laughs> the female relents. <laughs> what are them doing it now? Makes my bloody skin crawl. <sighs> what we get anyway? Jacob's bladder. Bladder, you tit. Yeah. Spurge. I don't know. Jesus. It's the sodding pigs. Hey, you haven't paid for your teas, you good for nothing, half wits. I'm about to pay you, Glory. Honest. Say a lot of cas, will you? Come here, you. Come give me some of them African marigolds, could you? Brighten the place up. Of course I can, missus. Be my pleasure. Oh, Tell oh. cas, will you? We're rolling, finger freak. Them coppers are fat wrinkly gets. Where should we take them? Oh, 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 All right. Why is it called Dot's Cozy Calf if Glory runs it? Fuck knows. Is it true about the Ripper? Fuck knows. What have you got for Kaz, anyhow? She's rough. I'm fancying my nimble fingers in a lady garden. <laughs> that garden centre man. Thinks he's good. Decent and that, but... He's not. 
He's an ass. <laughs> Not like Gloria. She's nice and kind and stuff. A bit like your Mr. Clough. Do you know plants have a sex life? Fuck off. <laughs> Seriously, they're dead, aren't they? They can't be reached by sunlight. They'll be found by the pollinators. They fertilise themselves. Lardy dow you pervy plants. <laughs> Fuck off. Come on. What you got there for me then, eh? Oh, so you've got some bleeding hearts. Champion. I won't ask you where you got them from. Have you got space for them? Of course I have, son. you let me put them in, though, won't you? The fingers are not the nimble little garden tools we used to be. Man, yeah, still tell a story or two, though. <laughs> yes, Mr. Clough. Did you get that Saturday job, then? No, Mr. Clough. And how about you? No, Mr. Clough. Hmm. So we'd better have a brew and some... Custard slices in, eh? I'll put the kettle on. on. Yeah, yeah, I've already got one. All right. Your garden is well skilled. It's bloody beautiful. Only word I can think to describe it. Dad's gone over our garden. Concrete and gravel. Calls it crazy paving, but I just call it shit. Must not have had one as a kid. Sorry about the language, Mr. Clough. Did poems about gardens in school. No poem writer can truly tell you how it is, though, can they? You're borrowing old Cluffy you about your flipping school books. All levels are a lot of pointless crap, you know. You're only doing them because your dad has a big job in that poxy office block. And he sent you to that posh. Actually, I passed my 11 plus retard. Well, you've both done a good job helping me rebuild this wilderness since my flora died. Don't go on bleeding sentimental, Mr. C. You'd be losing your marbles next. <laughs> what are them there, Mr. Clough? Where? There. Posh name is Columbine. The common name is uh, Granny's Bonnets. Pretty here, son. This is it. This is a life. Friggin' paradise. <laughs> Those, uh, Developers have been in touch again. Offered me a tidy sum to knock this place down and build some executive homes. This is the last place to be occupied. We can't do an out until I'm shifted. Evil, greedy assholes. It's more complicated than that, you div. Plan for this shit for years. Review it and stuff. It's not just about money. It's about redevelopment. Redevelopment? I'll give you re friggin' development in the knackers, mate. Where'd you get that chuffing bollocks from? Actually, you ignorant bender. That poxy office block where my dad works. It's down planning. And I know first hand, they're not just a set of posh twats. Hang on a minute. This is your cock of a dad what's behind this, isn't it? He's the poxy planner, right? It's him and his cronies are the greedy arseholes. that want to go around, smashing up all people's houses for the sake of building a few swanky apartments for some rich Manchester yuppies? No, it ain't. My dad doesn't have any authority down there. He's just works in the office. But he doesn't know about this garden, and he doesn't oh, know anything about you. I'm off. That's not a tosser, all right? It's because he didn't know anything about gardens. He's got a brain. He's got a proper job as my dad. He's got respect. He's just 
tough shit that you haven't got to do. Expecting you, son. You know, you don't need to plant these in trees because the weeds. But I wanted to nurture them, bring them on, watch them sprout, watch them grow. Hmm, not miss out. Nigella, loving a Mr. Call. Garden looks good. Do you know, I can see a rose in your face. Left me the day after she found out she was pregnant with you. Yeah, here we go again. That's why I took over this garden. It started slowly, but it soon took off, and then Flora came and it blossomed. I know all this. I've heard it a hundred times. Mm. We treat this garden like it was our child. <sighs> Perhaps the child I couldn't raise. Oh, please, don't do this. I had a good childhood. I made something of myself. Oh, yes, I can see that in your suit and your town planning. You should be proud. Oh! I'm bursting with pride. The way you lied and deceived your wife and had affairs. A child out of wedlock. Flora passed away and this, this garden became bleak and overgrown but empty. Oh, please stop. But, you know, the beautiful, incredible thing is those boys came here to rebuild and plant and grow. And how extraordinary my ordinary life has become. You ought to tell Martin and someone's got to tell Nigel. I can't. I plan to. I don't know how. But they're your sons. They're my grandsons. They're brothers. They're our flesh and blood, Ron. Sorry about the building plans, Dad. I'll beat the living crap out of ya! That's the big dogs on ya! trail of garden dirt. Fed any serial killers today, Glory. Hey, what's your Percy thrower? I'm lethal with a bread knife if needs be. It's Cassie. What's all this for, anyhow? The re house, Mr. Clough. He's up in Irise nice flat, flat in town centre. Poor old devil. It was life with that garden. Hey, coppers are half up the street. Shit! Shit. Hey lads. Alright, Granddad. 